everyone, welcome. I'm Robert Lopez, your instructor, and today I wanted to do a little tutorial here on using Bubbleus, uh, the application that we can use to make um, a concept map, right? So um, a concept map is really selects terms and makes these nodes, which are these bubbles where you put the words in there and you rank them, you rank the concepts and you sort of like make a flow chart. Uh, uh, trying trying to express your ideas and and it's really designed to to reemphasize your understanding of a new topic, especially a difficult topic like the one we're going to do today is uh, formation of Earth, right? So we're going to have to rank a number of different uh, uh, concepts here on on the on our Canvas assignment page here, the concept map assignment for Earth formation. Uh, you can look at this uh, Khan Academy video on. Earth formation, although I do a lot of the same stuff in, in my video lecture that you've probably already seen, but it's another way to kind of, you know, somebody else talking about it. It's another, another viewpoint. You can take a look at it. So they, you can see they're also talking here about the, the formation of the moon here, which, which is one of the things we're going we're gonna to cover here where uh, Thea collides with Earth here. So you can go, uh, this, this link here will take you to uh, basically a Wiki, Wikipedia page that talks about these concept maps. You can kind of look at it there. And basically this flow chart that we'll use. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take all these terms and we're going to make uh, a flow chart. And the key thing is we're going to start off, you know, with the formation of Earth. We first, we've got to start off with this solar nebula cloud, right? Because we'd have to make the solar system. Eventually, we, we make planets. So somewhere I have planetesimals here. I'm going to make planetesimals, and eventually these you know planetesimals are going to grow uh, um, uh, by um, accretion, you know, kind of clumping together. Yeah, accretion of planetesimals here, and um, eventually planets will clear their orbital path. And they you know because at, at any one orbital distance from the sun, there may be one or two or more planetesimals that are getting to be the size of a planet that eventually they're going to crash into each other because they can't occupy basically there's going to be, has to be only one planet per orbital distance from the sun right now um uh and again we're going to start off with our base uh parent bubble or parent node uh being our our solar nebula so let's go to this bubble us here one thing i make a point of is you can choose to sign in and and or register but for now let's just do the start brainstorming right here, right? So the key thing is that they're going to get, give you the start here bubble. So uh, what we could do, let's just get rid of that one uh, because I kind of want to start fresh. Hit this green button here to get started with a new bubble, right? And then, and since uh, this is going to be our parent bubble, and then you can play around with the text size. So let's let's increase. Uh, well, in fact, I think I, I wanted to make the color red here, red color, and then for the text size, uh, that's this one here. Uh, let's make it big, right? Because that's going to be our starting point. And then um, uh, you can sort of cl uh, click on here, and then you can move the bubble. So you can actually grab the canvas brainstorming palette here and just move the whole thing down. That's what we want to do. So just grab the whole thing and move it down. And then now when we go back in here, you see these plus buttons. Um, let's move it up a little bit. I'm going to, uh, so the, the button to the to the side would be a like a sister button or something that that's kind of sort of equivalent with this solar nebula, right? I'm gonna hit this button to the bottom, and these are gonna be like like child or daughter uh, uh, nodes or or concepts. So if I'm gonna click on that, um, I'm gonna say the first thing that's gonna happen is if we go back to our assignment, probably the first thing that's gonna happen is um, we're gonna see uh, this this gravity. Gravity is going to start pulling the solar nebula together, right? And then because um, we have to conserve momentum, it's going to start spinning around, right? And then as it spins around and, and, get, and gravity starts crunching it down a little bit, we'll see that gravitational energy will be converted to thermal energy, right? So we want to basically add these three concepts that are coming up next, right? So the first thing I'm going to add here is gravity. And um, since I'm moving my way up here, I'm going to grab this gravity. So you kind of just grab on it until it moves, and I can move it up over here. That's one of the first things that happened. Then I'm going to add, go back to solar, add another daughter um, a node here, and I'm going to put, so I'm going to that's going to be our spin. So again, I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to put it over here because I'm moving up. 
And then uh, go, going back to Saudi Arabia, I'm going to go back to another child bubble, and I'm going to put um, uh, gravitational energy, and I'll I'll put a little arrow here. It gets converted to thermal energy, and then I'm going to put that. I'm going to grab this and move it over here. Now I'm going to have to grab the whole canvas over here on the side and bring it back down here. All right, so. So now, remember, so this is basically, um, I'm going to make a, uh, this is going to start forming our sun and the planetesimal. So um, we'll put, um, which really it's going to be what we call the proto star. And that proto star will eventually form a sun, right? So we'll put the proto star here. And then uh, again, going back in here, we're going to click here and then we're going to put, we're going to start forming, um, we want to start doing this this accretion of planetesimals to form the protoplanets, right? So we'll put a, um, in fact, we just call this protoplanets um, accretion. Um, and eventually those protoplanets, uh, um, um, in fact, let's grab this. So eventually, the pro well, one thing we'll know, the protostar, um, let's add a child to that. And this is going to be eventually become our sun, our star in the solar system. So let's add that in here. But And the protoplanets, remember from here, we're going to start forming uh, planetesimals. All right? They're going to start crashing into each other. And eventually these guys will add a, a, a daughter button on this one. These guys will eventually start forming planets. Right, like Earth, Mercury, Mars, Venus, Jupiter. So remember, we talked about the the jovial planets and the terrestrial planets. All right, so now we got we have some sort of flow chart going here. And so, as you can see, probably the next thing we want to do is um, uh, so note that we have a couple of things going on over here with nuclear fusion and supernova. Actually, this these probably occur. Well, in fact, they have to occur before you can start forming the heavy atoms to form planetesimals, right? So in fact, we need to go in there. I kind of skipped those, but we can add those in here. So um, if we, so so remember, so we got the, have the protostar. Let's bring that over here. We have the sun, and the sun, uh, eventually what, what this is going to start forming, we're going to start, we'll add, a, we'll add a, sister, a sister bar here to form, um, uh, nuclear fusion. Oh, in fact, it's hydrogen. Then we're going to have nuclear fusion. So that's the, the, the fuel for the sun. And then we're going to form, um, I think I have them in here, the, the elements lighter than atomic number 20, uh, 56, um, lighter than, than iron 56 or, or it's atomic number 26, right? So remember, this is the, the mass number which are the neutrons and protons, but 26 is how many protons, right? So we have to add the elements. So these are forming by nuclear fusion. So we'll have to add uh, from here a daughter button, elements lighter than um, iron 56. Right. Eventually, for this, let's add a, a daughter button to the star here. Remember, if the, not our sun, but a nearby star or other stars, more massive stars, will we'll undergo supernova. So remember, supernovae is plural, more than one. And so many stars have, have experienced a supernova. Um, and, but the key thing is that the, these supernova really are providing two, two raw ingredients to the universe. One is they're providing all these elements lighter than, than iron 56 that start that form a nuclear fusion. So they, they go out into the universe to form planets carbon eventually form organic organisms, living organisms. But it, remember, during the supernova, we're forming the elements that are heavier than, um, than iron 56, right? So those are, the, that's this one I have here where uh, elements heavier than iron 56. They only like gold, silver, uranium. So now we have these raw ingredients. The, the lighter elements and the heavier elements are going to start forming these these planetesimals, right? All right, so now um, 
we have Earth, right? So let's see what else we're missing here. So you can see, sort of see, I'm sort of adding some things. So probably the next thing, so we did gravitational energy, planetesimals, hydrogen, nuclear fusion, supernova, the, the elements. So now what we need to start doing, we need to start um, differentiating the Earth. In other words, we have gravi gravitational differentiation, which we're going to make the, the layers of Earth. We're going to make the core, the mantle, and the crust, right? Um, and, the, and also outgassing will lead to uh, Earth's changing atmosphere. So, so you're going to want to start putting those things in there. And, um, and along the way, remember shortly after Earth formed, maybe about, remember Earth is about 4.56, 4.6 billion years old. But the lunar rocks are a little bit younger. They're about 4.5 billion years old. So it formed at a later time. And that's where we have this idea of Thea here colliding with the, the early Earth, the proto-planet, proto-Earth. And, and remember, the, the core of Thea merged with Earth's core. Um, and the rocky mantle material of Thea coalesced around the Earth to form the moon. Uh, in fact, um, uh, uh, Khan talks about that in his video as well, too. So that's going to have to go in there as well. So your job is to eventually start adding more of these nodes. You know, probably you probably want to start, you know, uh, branching off from uh, and start saying something about um, uh, gravitational. And then you can start put, uh, you know, co core, mantle, crust up here, make more bubbles. Um, and you don't have to follow my, my exact design here but um uh and you can see uh, you, you could probably maybe um off of these elements you may you could put you know protoplanets and accretion planetesimals you know in fact we should probably call this really a, a planet earth is what we're getting here and then then differentiation um, then we might have Thea coming in and, and forming the moon, and then we can have core mantle crust. And so, anyways, you can kind of build on this. So um, I don't want to do the whole thing for you, um, but this is kind of interesting way. And then what you'd want to do, you'd want to uh, download up here uh, your product, uh, and you want to save it. Oh, if you, so you can save it as a JPEG image. That's probably the easiest thing to attach to um, to the the assignment. So here it is down at the bottom. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And there it is, right? So um, uh, one thing you could do, uh, depending on the, the editor you have, you can, you, you can add some text to here. So you can do, um, uh, you can put my, um, um, Earth Formation, and then you can put your name. Right, so you, you would have that. And then now you can just add this. Um, so you would save this. Uh, let's get out of here.